Hi everybody, Andy Hagerman here. Now Pro Tools 2021.3 just came out and the big feature with that one is of course Big Sur compatibility on the Mac OS. But it's not the only feature out there. There's another small little feature but really really useful called Virtual MIDI Keyboard. Let's take a look. So I've got a session here, super super simple. Uh, it's a single instrument track called Piano. Uh, it's got a single plug-in on it. It's a virtual instrument called Mini Grand, one of my favorites. I use it all the time. Now, the track is record arm, so I'm ready to record, but I would need a MIDI controller to be able to do that, right? So uh, it would be awesome, right, if I could go ahead and click on this keyboard. I, I It's fantastic. It, it's, it's a great way of hearing what the instrument's going to sound like, but this is only controlling, this keyboard is only controlling the plugin. It's not sending MIDI data to the input of the track. So it's not a, a controller. I'm just going to prove it to you. So I'm going to start recording here. Great. I'm recording now and I... Great. And although I made the piano sound, I didn't deposit any notes onto the instrument track. This is not a MIDI controller. Okay. So I have to get my my keyboard connected to my MIDI interface, all that stuff. Uh, that's a lot of drama. There must be a simpler way. Well, now with Pro Tools 2021.3, there is. And it's a little thing called Virtual MIDI Keyboard. And if I go to my window menu, you'll see down here MIDI Keyboard. It is also Shift K, K for keyboard. And what it's going to do is it opens up this cute little, very simple but functional window. And what it does, it's got these uh, letters on the keys, and those correspond, if you take a look down at your keyboard, those correspond to the letters on your keyboard. So the A key will play a C, okay? And the F key will actually play an F, just coincidentally enough. So it's, it's laid out graphically on the keyboard so that you can do a chromatic scale without looking down at your keyboard, right? Now, there are also a couple other ones down at the bottom. There's a Z, X, C, and V. Now, notice that this is a very small keyboard. It's only one octave. They could make it bigger, but of course it would take up more real estate. So the Z and X keys will allow you to change the octave. So if I hit the Z key, now, that moves down one octave. If I hit the X key, moves up the octaves. So each time I press Z, it goes down by one octave. Each time I press the X key, it goes up by one octave. Now, my velocity is currently set to 96 because that's what I last used uh, with this. Um, hitting the C key will nudge the velocity lower. Hitting the V key will nudge the velocity higher. Now, the C and V keys act slightly different than the Z and X keys. If I hold down the C key, it will scroll the velocity. So it will go in, it, it'll just keep on going until you let go of the key. So if you, if you press it just one at a time, it goes up by one increment. If I hold it down, then it goes up until I, until I let go of it. Now, is this the same as using an external MIDI keyboard? Yes, so this keyboard here is different than the keyboard that you're seeing in the MIDI Grand, and I'll prove it to you. So let's go over here, I'm gonna start recording. Can I do chords? Yep. No problem. Can I click with the mouse? Yes, you can. Great. So basically, this acts in place of an external keyboard. And this will just record onto any record arm track, just as if it was a, a hardware keyboard, but built into Pro Tools, super portable. And so that's a quick tour around virtual MIDI keyboard. It's going to allow you to make music on the go. Thanks. See you next time.